Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make Caesar salads. First, we want to start with making our croutons. Here I've got some bread cubes, and I use that thick Sara Lee artisan bread and just cut it into cubes. You can cube up some French or Italian bread that you get at the grocery store, just regular homemade bread, whatever you want to use. In this bowl, I've got cubed up bread, about three cups worth, like heaping cups. And then we're going to drizzle over about two to three tablespoons of olive oil. You can use avocado oil, coconut oil, vegetable. And then I have two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley that I needed to use up. We're going to put a little grind of some pepper in here. I'm going to give it some salt too. This is to your taste. We're going to put a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder in here to your taste. You can use any spices you want. I'm just going to give this a toss. Okay, now we're going to spread it out on a cookie sheet. Try to get them in a flat layer. And then we're going to toast them in the oven. I've got my oven preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to toast them till they're toasted up. And during the toasting process, I'm going to come and stir these about two or four times. Depends on how big your bread cubes are. So we'll start with 20. Let's make some Caesar salad dressing in my Ninja Blender. I'm making a double batch. So what I'm going to rattle off is the recipe for a double batch. If you don't need that much, then split it in half. So two cups of avocado oil is what I'm using. You can use olive oil or extra virgin olive oil. And then you need about four cloves worth of garlic that has been minced. We like the garlic. So I'm putting a little bit more than that. Two large eggs. It's been at room temperature and make sure they're good pasteurized eggs or if you have your own chickens and they lay eggs you can use them. Then we're going to put about a teaspoon of salt, same as pepper, a half a cup of parmesan cheese, this is good quality grated parmesan and about a tablespoon of some Dijon mustard. Two lemons that were squeezed of its juices. So a good, good eight tablespoons. Then we're just going to put our top on and blend it. In my Caesar salad dressing, I don't have anchovies. I put some in. But you can make it without the anchovies. So if you're wanting the anchovies, put a good three or four little flays of anchovies or about two teaspoons of anchovy paste. And this is what you do. We are going to taste this to see if it needs any more lemon, parmesan, cracked black pepper. Okay, we taste it and it's perfect for us. Just gotta make sure you taste it. If you need more parmesan, more salt, more black pepper, more anchovies. I might need a little bit of more lemon juice or a little bit more mustard. That's what it looks like. It's nice and creamy. We're just going to put the lid on this and put it in the fridge until I get ready to serve the Caesar salads. Let's toss our salad with some Caesar dressing. So here's some chopped romaine. I'm leaving some just chopped up because some people like to drizzle instead of having their salad tossed with the dressing. But I'll show you how to do it. Put your little bit of dressing on and then I'm just going to toss it. You don't want it drowning in your salad dressing. And then if they want a little bit more at the table, then just pour it in a little, little dressing bottle and then they can add a little bit more to the salad. Now, if you wanted to put a little bit of more shredded Parmesan cheese in here as you toss it, you can. So I'm going to get me a plate. Lovely little croutons we made. If you want to sprinkle a little bit more Parmesan shreds on top, you can. There you have it. Caesar salad made my way.